So the Intel 12th Gen mobile chips were announced earlier this year and to me, it was quite confusing as that time Intel was continuously changing some of the processor family names and their purpose as well, making it quite difficult for us to catch up. So in today's video, I'm going to quickly run you through a crash course of between all of the three new families of chips and also benchmark the performance of the 12th Gen Core i7 12700H. Yes, I got that correct. So, this new fancy laptop here is the ASUS ZenBook 14X OLED Space Edition UX5401 and it is equipped with the Core i7-12700H processor which is our laptop for benchmark today. And the last alphabet in the processor name H indicates that this processor is within the H series family. And the H series is always meant for enthusiasts and gamers who want the most powerful processing power out of their laptops Hence, that is why this processor, this whole family of processors is rated for 45 watts of power draw. With high power draw means higher performance, so that checks out. And we'll have benchmarks for this laptop later on in this video. So moving down in terms of power draw, we have the new P series. This series of processors sit in the fine line between low power chipsets and also high performance enthusiast chips. It can take up to 28 watts of power, which is actually coinciding with the 11 gen's maximum power draw of U-series processors. And speaking of the U-series of processors, it is now split into two different subgroups. So we have 15 watt versions and also 9 watt versions. The 15 watt versions is technically the maximum power draw of some 11 gen U-series processors in ultrabook laptops, like the ASUS ZenBook from late 2020. And then the new sub-series here are the 9W U-series processors. I'm really curious to see how these 9W processors will perform when paired with a 48W hour battery. And I kind of expect the battery life to last for about 2 days or so. But we'll still have to wait for a laptop to use that chip so that we can test it out. And as a whole, the entire 12th gen processor for mobiles is divided into 3 groups. So H-series for 45 watts of power, P-series for up to 28 watts of power, and U-series that is divided into two subgroups, either 15 watts or 9 watts. One surprising thing that I realized is that all 12th gen mobile processors come with at least one P-core and at least four P-cores, unlike their desktop counterparts whereby some of the lower end chips don't even come with any E-cores at all. Okay, so enough about the 12th gen family of chips. How does the new Core i7 12700H actually performs. Well, I'm surprised that the CPU performance here literally ripped through Cinebench R23 benchmark, and the CPU performance is just fantastic. If you really need lots of pure processor power, then this chipset will do you wonders. However, when it comes to games, this laptop in particular is not gonna perform the best because it has a very high resolution of 2880 by 1800 and that is definitely gonna tax the Iris XE even further. Playing Genshin Impact, well, it's best to be played at the lowest graphical quality and same goes to GTA 5 as well. I also tried playing Halo Infinite but unfortunately, even at the lowest graphical settings, it still dips below 30 FPS so yeah, you will definitely experience some stutters. As for the temperatures though, well, with such a high power draw of 45 watts maximum with such a thin laptop body, it immediately reached about 100 degrees Celsius, but it stabilizes down to about 84 degrees Celsius in about 5 minutes time. And ASUS did a really good job in terms of keeping the restress area cool, and we can still use the laptop comfortably, but the fan sounds like a jet engine. Overall, I'm impressed by the CPU performance of the Intel Core i7-12700H, but disappointed with the Iris XE graphics because Intel didn't really do any upgrades to it. Currently, this laptop's configuration with an Intel Core i7-12700H with the Iris XE integrated graphics just doesn't really make sense. I guess that is because Intel wants to push their own Intel Arc discrete GPUs, well, they announced that a while back, but until now, we're still waiting for laptops that is actually using that Intel Arc GPU. So that's all we have to share with you about the 12th gen Intel mobile processors. I'm still waiting for 
U-series and P-series processors, particularly the 9 watts U-series and also P-series is interesting because it's not really high powered but still high performance I guess and of course the Intel Arc GPUs as well. So we'll have to wait further for them to arrive into our doorsteps or for us to test. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.